Hello friends. This is the first in what I intend to be a series of kind of my weekly finds. Got some tubes laying around from last week which uh, I'll tell you about in a second. In this series we're going to look at uh, things that I picked up each week which many of which will appear in later videos. I kind of want to make a weekly feature of short videos that you might enjoy. So uh, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell notification if you'd like to see those. The goal is uh, 5 to 10 minutes each week. So you might just have a little fun seeing what I discovered in my route. I have four thrift stores that I go to regularly. And I also go to estate sales and uh, garage sales kind of as they come along that are of interest. This week I got this Sony... 5 disc compact disc player CDP CE375. Uh, it's scratched up a little bit, but I think it probably works. One of the key features of this, from a value standpoint, is it includes a, an optical output. So even if you don't like the analog output that comes out of this, uh, all modern AV receivers have an optical input, and then you can rely on the conversion circuitry of your AV receiver. I paid $7.99 for this with a 20% discount and it's worth something in the $100 range if it works so that's a pretty good uh, uh, bet. I'll probably reuse this in my home and kind of swap out another uh, DVD player that I've got that's a uh, uh, SACD or SACD type that's worth more. I don't really have any interest in SACD, but uh, you know, um, I bought that one as kind of a resale anyway. This is a little uh, phone tripod thing, includes a screw mount on the top, $4.99 with discounts, and it came with, I didn't even realize this, but it came with this little uh, camera snapshot Bluetooth thing. It looks like that hasn't even had the battery keeper removed from it, so this is in pretty much new condition. So back to the tubes. Last week I scored a large number of new old stock tubes, meaning tubes that are decades old that are still in their original boxes. And there were also a lot of used tubes there. Paid $100 for the set and um, can probably turn those over in the range of a thousand or more so that's a pretty good score there is a lot of labor involved with sorting those out and listing them and selling them and all so it's not really quite the big score that it sounds like but this is just a smattering of those I'll have more on that uh, possibly in a separate video here's a set of five Iowa surround sound speakers still in the van as you can see, I paid $9 for three, five each for two, so that gets me up to $37. I got a discount, which made it about $32. And these, I can tell from the construction, are kind of in the middle range. They're narrow particle board, fairly solid. They have speaker terminals and removable fronts. So, I can pretty much figure that these are going to be kind of pretty good, but not necessarily the best ever. I can see these as kind of secondary speakers for a home theater use here at home, and like a, you know, um, upstairs bedroom or something like that. Got a few little spots of damage here. The previous owner stuck on these feet. That's not bad. Uh, can either use them as is or I can take them off if I want to later on probably be pretty easy to remove so this is for the price I think a, a good value I haven't looked up the value of these on eBay yet but um, really I bought them probably for my own use with some evaluation as opposed to uh, as a profit making operation here's another nice item I got this week this is a Sony Digital 8 camcorder. Uh, I forget the model, but anyway, 
it has a lot of features in this era it's obsolete by current standards but these still have value as um, people transferring tapes I actually have a lot of digital 8 tapes myself that I've never transferred uh, I've got my original camcorder for that but uh, if it goes bad or something in the middle of the transfer process this is a possibility I've got it plugged in and it's doing enough to charge here I have tried this out separately and found that it doesn't work all the way with the tape that was in it uh, it shows some sort of error message see if I can pull that up real quick beeping showing this error message so this might end up being a parts unit I think these sell on eBay as parts for like in the $30 range might be something I can fix or it might be something that I end up uh, tearing apart in a later video as kind of a tear down this unit I got a couple weeks ago $5 this is a mini DV system which is really a cool little thing also obsolete and I've tried this enough to know that it doesn't work it has problems so that's probably going to be a teardown unit in a future video look for that but um, anyway as a teaser this is really an impressive piece of engineering when you consider all the stuff they crammed into this little form factor including a magnetic videotape system um, and some kind of sophisticated zoom lens it's really impressive nowadays we're more used to digital recorders that have a an SD card system and that makes them a whole lot smaller and cheaper in a lot of ways but um, imagine you've got a full video tape head running inside here which is also true in this unit the tape format is bigger in digital 8 probably twice as big but you can see that this is a much bigger unit compared to the uh, mini DV system with some things like this we know that we're gonna have five dollars worth of fun just tearing it apart and seeing how it works in the worst case uh, Turns out this also might make a viable webcam still. It has a USB output and so on. So I'm going to for sure explore this more in a future video. Watch for that. So I think that wraps it up for this week. I'm going to put this poor camcorder out of its misery by shutting it off. And hopefully we'll see you next week with a bunch of new finds. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.